The DP-20 Carillion gunship is a Corvette class with a role as Hunter. They are purchasable by the Rebellion starting at Tech Level 3 for 2,750 credits on planets from the Advanced Light Shipyard. When deployed to the battlefield, the DP-20 Carillion gunship has the following loadout taken word from word from the descriptions of Awakening of the Rebellion. They have fast charging anti-laser cannon shields with a strength of 450. Anti-laser cannon shields reduce the damage taken from all laser cannons, heavy laser cannons, and flat cannons. They take slightly more damage from all lasers, point defense lasers, and medium and heavy turbo lasers. They have a whole strength of 450 with light armor. Light armor reduces the damage taken from all laser cannons, but takes additional damage from medium and heavy turbo lasers. They have a speed of 325 with a high acceleration and a very high turn. Their sensor range is 2000 with a max weapon range of 2500 and an ideal weapon range of 2000. The DP-20's weapon systems include the following. Four heavy dual laser cannons. Heavy laser cannons excel at taking out small ships like corvettes and frigates. Two repeating dual point defense lasers. Point defense lasers are very accurate but cause little damage and have limited range. Two four burst assault missiles. Assault missiles are anti-corvette and anti-frigate missiles. They cause good damage and lower the defense of hit corvettes and frigates by 30% for 20 seconds. Each has the boost engine power ability, which while activated, speed is increased but at the cost of reduced firepower and shield strength. With all that being said, the DP-20 Curling gunship has the heaviest firepower of the three corvettes primarily used by the Rebel Alliance. It takes the hunter role head-on and is very capable of even taking out frigates while still being able to efficiently eliminate fighters and bombers. With such versatile firepower, I feel the best way to use these ships is to create a perimeter around your capital ships and have them eliminate the initial fighter in Corvette Wave. After that wave is over, boost their engines and push them through to the back line where our Quintins, Victory Ones, and other artillery ships tend to be. DP-20s have the firepower to quickly take down shields or can have their missile base pierce through them. With that combination of firepower and speed, they can easily destroy enemy artillery ships along the back lines. Finally, the DP-20 Curlian gunship may have one of the best models in Awakening of the Rebellion. As we know, 2.9 brought a lot of new models and updates, but you really gotta love how the dual laser cannons rotate on the DP-20. The detail for something so small is really appreciated. Drop a comment on which of the three Corvettes you tend to use most when you're playing as the Rebel Alliance. I really would recommend the other two outside of the CR-90 as they really have proven to be quite useful. If you're looking for a comparison video that breaks down the strengths and weaknesses of the three Corvettes and which is better at what job, click the video on the screen now.